Good morning, everybody. I'd like to ask at this time for um, teachers to um, stop their classes for a moment. Uh, I won't be long, but I would like everybody's respect and, and uh, attention so that I can talk to everybody about what happened. Um, and um, I would like to be able to have this discussion with you, obviously, face to face, but um, being that we can't get everybody in one room here at Brockton High, um, I want to do that now so that you can all hear what I have to say about what happened yesterday. Now let me begin by saying this, I am so sorry to have to address our school community about a shooting incident. But I want to be sure that everyone here knows what I know at this time. So let me first go through what happened here late yesterday afternoon. To dispel rumors and stories and all of that, you need to know. So here's what happened. As you all know, all the winter sports teams are getting underway and the gym was filled with our student athletes and coaches. Unfortunately, two young men who had no business even being there got into an argument and almost immediately one of them pulled out a gun and shot the other multiple times on the steps leading up to the gym. Witnesses stated that the suspect then ran off school grounds. The victim then came into the gym seeking help and our coaches and staff immediately stepped in to help. They called 911, they stayed with the victim and school administrators uh, and school police responded immediately. When police and medical staff arrived, the first priority was to get help for the victim and he was taken to the hospital with what is reported to be non-life threatening injuries. What was also impressive was the response of all of our student athletes who are there to enjoy the sports that they love. You all remained calm and cooperated with the police and the school staff. And you are articulate and thoughtful in your responses to the media. You handled yourselves well and I thank you for that. Obviously this is an active police investigation and they will certainly not share anything that would jeopardize their investigation. But be assured that I will immediately inform our school community of any developments that occur. This shooter needs to be caught. Finally, I need to talk with you on, a, on even a more personal level. Throughout the evening yesterday, you can imagine I got calls from, as you did probably, from family and friends and the first question they would ask me is, are you okay? And I would say, oh yes, we're dealing with this, it's distressing that anyone was shot, but thank goodness no one else was hurt. But then you know what, later in the night, and I, and I wasn't sleeping obviously, I found myself answering that question very differently. Are you okay? Because you know what, the answer is no, I'm not okay, and neither is anyone else at Brockton High. We are not okay. This incident was violent, disgusting, hateful, and attacks every single one of us. There is no more important responsibility we have as educators than to keep a school safe. And yesterday, you were not safe here because of the actions of a dangerous, violent individual. Now most of you know that I graduated from Brockton High and I still live in Brockton, and you see me walking all the time. So my outrage here is not just as the principal, but as a Brocktonian. But here's what I want you to know that I know about you. This is not about all of you here at Brockton High. You are responsible, respectful, wonderful kids who I love working with every day. And you have hardworking, committed teachers and support staff here who are here for you. And now we will, I am sad to say, that we will all be painted with a negative brush because of this. And you need to hear me say as your principal that this incident was not about Brockton High. Rather, it is a very sad example of how violent some people in our city have become. And I hate it that all of us will be seen in that light. The actions of just a few have affected us all. And that brings me to the most important part of this message. We, and I mean all of us when I say we, have got to step up here. We are responsible for each other. And we need to protect each other, and I need all of you to help me do that. Here's what I know. Some of you saw what happened yesterday. 
if anyone knows anything or can help in any way, you need to speak in private to me or to any adult that you trust. Because this violent individual who totally violated the atmosphere of safety and trust we have at Brockton High needs to be arrested and prosecuted. He crossed every line of decency in a society. And by the way, that same feeling of protecting each other applies from day to day. The best first line of safety in a school is all of you. You are our eyes and ears and you need to help us. So on any day, if you see something that makes you feel nervous or unsafe, you need to let us know. We will keep your name and information confidential. We need to protect you. We will certainly be looking at our security measures here at Brockton High. You can be sure of that. But let me reiterate, we are all the best security we have in this school. And if we let something go, we are guilty of endangering everyone else. So please, please help us on that. And as a Brockton resident myself, I'm asking you to help us engage in a broader discussion because this incident was not about Brockton High. I would like us to engage in a broader discussion about the level of violence in our city. I never, ever thought I would have to talk about that coming into our school. But now I do, because it has happened. So you know what? No, I am not okay, and no one here should feel okay. So again, I want to thank everyone for their help and support yesterday, and we still need it desperately. Please help us work together to not only address this horrible incident, but please help us work together to stop the violence that is affecting all of us. And also, please know that I will keep everyone informed about any developments that occur. Thank you all.